wrote this grant and we got $60,000 and using that we are able to buy organic and locally grown fruits and we've been able to bring it into the classroom so that the students can enjoy the fruit. Project Fruitify Yourself has had a great impact on the other students at Balboa because we bring fruit to every English class at this school. It is a way of ensuring that everyone gets a piece of fruit because every student in the school has an English class. Half of us come before school starts and we pack fruits and we get the boxes ready and put them on carts so that they are going around during the first 10 minutes of class distributing these boxes. This has been completely student-led. They conducted the program, they helped to write the grant, and they helped to disseminate the information about fruit and healthy eating to the school body to try to basically change the eating habits of their peers. So, where the fruit goes, and we deliver fruit, packaged fruit, and uh, put on fruit fairs. Fruit's nutrition and how healthy it is, like just to simply eat. It's really important for teenagers to to eat a healthy diet, to learn what a healthy diet looks like, to practice um, good healthy eating habits, and work on improving their diets and taking charge of that as part of their pathway to becoming adults. This really did start to get, uh, like, get me to start liking fruit more, and I think it's good because I can actually feel it like stimulate my mind. A whole bunch of students go here whose parents do have to work, and students are responsible for cooking a lot of the meals, and they have an influence on their siblings. So. Here, we promote healthy eating and organic food, so we hope that what we teach here and what we give them here will transfer into other parts of their lives. This actually got me to eat fruit. Before this, I barely ate it at all, and ever since we've been having it at school, I even got my mom to buy some at home now. We eat what's cheapest. We never pay attention to what's better for us because we're not taught what is better for us. I go around to the classrooms and I give these presentations on why we're doing this and I ask people, have you ever read the nutrition information on the back of something? And 99% of the time I get a no. They've never looked on the back. And if they were to look on the back, they don't know what these things mean. Fruit doesn't come with a nutrition statement on the back because you don't have to prove it's good for you. It's important for teenagers to have good eating habits because, first of all, it, it forms habits for life that can keep them healthy for life, and it's good for uh, learning. They can't learn if they don't have good, good eating habits. They're eating junk constantly. They're very excited to have fruit. Um, on the days we don't have fruit available, they're coming by and asking, when do we get fruit? I really want some fruit. Why don't you have the fruit today? The fruit here is great. It's good. It makes me feel good. There's a bunch of fruits that they got here. They have bananas, oranges, apples, plums. It's like a never-ending supply of fruits. I've seen students sharing fruit that they wouldn't have otherwise tried. So we get a variety of fruits here in, in class and some, some that people are familiar with. Um, some of the students know these fruits and then will enthusiastically taste them and other students will latch onto that like, oh, I guess I'll give it a try. And what is that green thing you're eating? Some people don't know what a kiwi is or aren't familiar with eating different citrus fruits and so they come in and they're, they're more willing to try them. They're fresh every single day. There's always something new and there are even things you've never heard of. It's still easy to change the eating habits of teenagers. If it's readily available, if it's not high in cost, if they are being told the advantages and they see the advantages such as better performance, in football games or in sports. We had the grant, so we are able to bring in fruit every Tuesday and Thursday, and the fruit does get consumed. The students are not not eating it, they choose to eat it. So we are seeing that every Tuesday and Thursday, every week, that their diets are slowly changing because they're consuming more fruit. I definitely think that it's possible for teenagers to change their eating habits because it's very evident at our school right now Whenever there's a box of fruit brought in, the students go there immediately. Fruit is a necessity in life to live a very healthy, fulfilled life. Having a fruit available in our classroom has been a wonderful thing this year. Usually I wouldn't eat fruit at all, but after this, I just changed the, my diet. We've been able to make a change in our school. Fruitify yourself!